The match starts soon, and that means the tournament, okay, the tournament is, whew, everyone in the audience, they are just absolutely just breathless. Everyone is inhaling with anticipation. All right, G-Pot. It's time for you to relax. I'll bring us home. Yeah, okay. I mean, Don't I, worry, bud. I, I mean, I've, I've been relaxed with my voice today. I'm hoping to oh, yeah. not sound like I've been you know, smoking 50 a day uh, for, you know, a few years by the time I'm done with the tournament, so... And relaxing that would be uh, a little bit ideal if you did not sound like that indeed but yeah. here we go the last match the last couple of games for today's events hope you guys have enjoyed it is now going to be the rematch of eq versus dark horse or speed demons as uh, they're better known now we have seen this of course be a 2-0 before but doesn't necessarily mean it'll happen again something quality looking for the engage here on the map there's gonna be all three nodes contested at the moment Team fight coming out around mid. Unfortunately, I cannot yet see the players. There we go. It's finally happened. There we go. EQ going to be picking up the middle node. It is going to be Waterfall going the way of the Speed Demons. Aerox coming back in off of Waterfall as well. Going for the plus here to help peel for Karina, his Necromancer. Half still trying to hold down the node. And we actually see still the outnumber fight around mid. As we see them trying to aggress onto this Renegade with the 1v1 from the Druid Shadowfall. However, again, it's just there's not really, not really enough pressure here from the uh, three players, the four players now of Speed Demons. As Korean is getting pushed down and going very, very low. He's finally going to be brought to down. See the cleave here from the Reaper. Just too much, it looks like. And I don't think there's any res coming out there. No, that's going to be the first kill of the game on the way VQ. Indeed, and that's a, certainly a very good start. Picking up a key player, you know, as, uh, you were talking about this in the, the games versus uh, Team USA on Temple, right? Like, it's very good when you when you get something like a Thief, like the team fight won't be massively affected, but if you lose something like a Firebrand or your Necromancer, your team fight's going to collapse pretty quickly uh, after that. And seeing as both of those just died for Dark Horse, Exalted Quality off to a very, very strong start in this game. If, I think they're, yeah, they're going to, I think Ryan, very smartly here, maybe learning from some of the previous games, going for the plus there onto the Ranger to try and get rid of that Druid, because we see that, we saw this in the early games earlier actually like this druid build being played uh, by shadowfall simply slowly wins right it slowly wins into the regain and eventually controls the uh controls the node so i think yeah ryan just get forces the cap and then immediately leaves and i think we're going to see shadowfall move as well yeah he's actually going to leave them i actually kind of like that rotation from shadowfall too it means that it's going to kind of force the renegade to either do nothing uh or probably end up conceding the node relatively soon uh you know uh, so i think he's probably going to wait are we going to say that the renegade actually might be camping uh, that node there, I'm not. That might end up getting punished. Actually, really nice decap there from Shadowfall too. That glyph of the tides coming in, incredibly useful, removing the necromancer from the node there. Yeah, absolutely. They're going to be able to get the decap on mid now. Potentially push back into it as we see Zin going for the one versus one against the renegade. I, and again, I mean, I'm not really sure. I'm a fan of this. I think that they should probably allow the renegade to leave, go for a decap here on A Rocks if he can just stealth up and, and get a sneaky decap and then head back into the fight. But doesn't look like that's what they're interested in. Shadowfall going to just get over to the waterfall and potentially lock that down as Ryan looking for maybe a, a decap of his own there of the waterfall. He's going to stealth up, but Shadowfall is going to stay and it's not going to happen. So again, the fight will happen around mid, but EQ are going to be able to get it back up and we do see Karina now going to be going a little bit low and yeah, he is going to fall here as Half makes his way over towards the quarry, which is already in plus by Aerox into the Renegade looking for the kill here on to EQ. He's going pretty low with Half coming and that'll be a dead Renegade for sure. So they will trade a one for one on the map. Decap does come out of the quarry, though. Ryan and Grant looking for the res here. Half going for the stomp, though, and that's going to be good. And I do actually like this rotation. They trade the Necro out for the Renegade, but they get the decap over quarry, and they dislodge the Renegade. Definitely the hardest player for them to lock down and get a kill on. Aerox, though, very low in this fight, and he needs to be careful. However, unfortunately, he's not going to be careful enough. He's going to be going into downstate. Maybe a res coming out as half is on top of it. He's looking to get it, but it's not going to happen. The damage here from these three players is too much, even with Thermite using his RF. And half and Zin are forced to leave as soon as they get there. Indeed, and Exalted Quality, they take out that Thief and then once again get that Quarry back and they'll be able to trade the Renegade in there, they'll be able to push the Renegade in there off Respawn and reclaim that node fairly soon. They haven't, they were actually one tick away from it, Zin was able to be there just in time to deny that and you know uh, should be able to pressure that condition. The Convive actually gets pulled back in by the Firebrand, so he's going to have to be very, very careful there. However, the Renegade, I think, will be able to slowly claim the node actually combined with the Convi Thief here, although actually that's a good knock there from Zin, that should fully re-neutralize it almost, uh, almost entirely, and EQ just maintaining a very 
small 30 point lead right now, but if they're able to get their own home node back, it's going to be absolutely fantastic for them. Now moving the Thief into mid to assist the Firebrand, who's in a little bit of a situation there, but actually, he's just going to skip mid and just go for the decap on the Waterfall. I actually kind of like that there as well, like, so, because the, the fight here on Quarry isn't even bad, and actually it's excellent because the half actually overextends a little bit there, pushes in a little bit too deep and gets eliminated. I think he might get rezzed, and actually, no, not quite. No, they do actually no, get the rezzed there up. on half. Good rez there from... Uh, speed demons to get those guys back on their feet. The Reaper still looking to chop him down though, actually. Uh, gets a good knock with the Shield 5 and Firebrand should be okay here, at least for a while. Good team out there. The Revenant going for the knock to, um, you know, uh, go for that uh, big knock, a uh, big super speed there. Allowing the Firebrand to wriggle away to freedom. Zoomerino though, finds themselves in a bit of a rough spot. Actually, the Renegade kind of wailing on him. They might end up going down there. Yeah, I think, I think the Zoomerino has just gone for the, I'm just going to die on the point and force you to cleave me out, but Exola Quality really taking control of this map now. They actually have pushed all three nodes. They are going to lose the Waterfall. The Thief won't be able to contest into the Ranger super effectively, uh, but they actually had uh, nearly, a, uh, well, essentially a three cap for a pretty good amount of time there, and they found themselves a very, very strong lead here on Legacy. Yep. Triple cap coming out for just a couple of seconds before it gets quickly denied as we see the decap now on mid and Waterfall, but Shadowfall is not going to have a free cap on mid and Unfortunately for them, fighting in now with Karina just dying here for the rest of the map is going to be very, very difficult for them. And I, again, I, I really don't understand why they're pushing into this Renegade as hard as they are. They're really trying to dislodge him from Corey when I feel like they should be making sure that they have their own side of the map confirmed. And they've given away a lot of points because of this. You know, they did get a kill on the Renegade before when they were able to plus it before he got some help. And I think that was fine. But now that he has teammates with him, it's going to be very, very difficult for them to dislodge him and potentially get kills on the rest of the map. And it just doesn't really seem like they're placing their players around the map very well. And they haven't been able to really get much value on the mid either just because of how much attention they're giving to Corey. And I, I really don't like the way that they're rotating at the moment. I think that they definitely should be trying to force fights a little bit farther away from Corey, force fights away from the Renegade, rotate around it, maybe go for a plus and, and troll mid a little bit like we saw them do earlier and have it work as well. But at the moment, the lead getting ever bigger here for EQ, 130 points now, about to be 140 points over the Speed Demons, as they're just unable to really find crack in this armor of EQ. Yeah, I think this is certainly the map where Exalted Quality feels very, very comfortable. And I think this is a good example of when their strategy works, right? That this is a great example of Exalted Quality's plan. Uh, coming to fruition here, and this is what it looks like uh, when it works out. They're getting a few kills here and there. They're holding these nodes effectively. When they win a fight, they push their thief to the waterfall, and they get a decap on that node, slowing down the progress of their enemies. And yeah, this is looking very clean uh, so far for EQ. Only a single death on their side, looking to pick up maybe another kill onto Zoomerino. The Firebrand is supporting Zoomerino effectively. Actually, uh, Aerox gets caught by uh, Ryan. There nearby on the quarry, and then the thief will be able to once again return onto the renegade. Probably won't be able to get too much done into Zin. I think Zin should be okay there, but Zoomerino is far less okay. Does have full shroud, but is getting battered by the condition revenant and the firebrand, getting knocked all over the place and might end up going down there. Does get the heal skill off there, which is going to fully cleanse all those conditions and generate a massive amount of health. But is that enough when there's a comedy thief about? No, it isn't. Actually, Jack did quite unfortunately fall off there. Uh, he fell off there. I believe it was maybe an axe fall that kind of teleported him behind the body and he fell over, which is very, very unfortunate for him. But with Ryan getting that decap, I would go as far to say that this game might well actually be over, right? Yeah, and you know, you don't see this happen as often on Legacy. You know, a lot of times you'll see one team basically just completely shut down the other team. And technically, we have seen that. Exalted Quality more or less have. But because of the way that they're playing, and you mentioned this before, they really, they more or less let one cap or one node go capped or uncontested for quite a while. And we actually do see a really nice rally here from Shadowfall onto Exalted Grant. Unfortunately, he is going to go right back down. I don't know if we'll see the res here coming out from Speed Demons. A Rock's starting to go on top of it, but there's a lot of damage, a lot of cleave here coming out of Exalted Quality. And again, I gotta I gotta just point it out again, we really saw way too much value given to the Renegade over at Corey, I think. They, he's he's literally AFK right now. We actually see Arox going over there for no reason whatsoever. He's not gonna be one v wanting that. He's not gonna be able to decap it. There's just no reason for him to. And they actually called GG. And again, oh, they GG? just yep. they pushed they pushed into into the quarry way too much. Yeah, and, and gave way too much confirm uh, to the to the Renegade. Yeah. 
And this is why I kind of say that the EQ is almost like the French worms of NA, right? Like they they bait you with that renegade in the same way that the French worms kind of bait you with the renegade, but they you know the French ones also go a step further and they bait you with the bunker herald as well. And of course, well you know you could also well, it's kind of a, a bunker rev, bunker base or something. There's a lot of bait there uh, coming out from the worms. But yeah, that's going to be GG well played um, for uh, exalted quality. And here we go. This is potentially the last game we're going to see for the day before we get back into the EU matches tomorrow morning, or well, afternoon for some of you. And uh, we will see what happens if EQ just take this map and make it a 2-0 here, or if we're actually going to finally go to a, a third map today on an A, which so far we have yet to do. Shadowfall and the Renegade are going to be duking it out, as always, over at the Windmill. Mansion currently completely untouched by either team, and it will be Clock Tower Middle Node again going to be the point of contest between these two teams as the team fight begins to brew up here. We're going to see a little bit of pressure out under the Reaper, and he's actually going to be forced away, chased down by the Thief of Aerox, but neither team really getting an advantage out of the positioning from anyone else. Zin, as well as Half, still going to be trying to clip it down. And it's actually going to be the Necro here from Speed Demons starting to get aggressed on Jack, Ryan, as well as Thermite now on top of him. They're looking for the kill on the Necro, and it looks like it's going to happen. He's very low. Ryan gets knocked off, though, and he is going to get some heals and some peels from Half at the moment. Thermite still trying to get on top of him, though, and there's the Lich coming out now from Zoomerino, and Thermite may have found himself overextending a little bit. The RF going to be pushed out now as Jack get back, gets back up to the top of the node. Thermite still pretty low, able to kite away, but Aerox coming back in is going to be able to find a kill here, and we do see. First kill now, or second kill rather, of this game, go in the way of Speed Demons. Uh, Speed Demons picking up that, those two kills there is very, very nice and very important players there, the Firebrand and the Reaper. However, Ryan, he did seize the opportunity to actually go for that far push and secure the mansion, which is a bit of an annoyance um, for Exalted Quality. That's uh, for, for Dark Horse, rather, or Speed Demons. It's going to really deny that snowball a fair bit because the Thief is no longer going to be able to continue to Zerg there. And in fact, we are going to end up with side nodes belonging uh, to Exalted Quality. Uh, there as well. Yeah, Half also running with the same build that we saw Moobs playing with the speed rune and the staff for a bit of additional healing and extra mobility and kite potential with the swiftness uptime on the staff there too. So interesting to see a little bit of variance in the Firebrand community. Now, of course, Shadowfall was able to go over there to Mansion and get that decap. However, Exalted Quality was also able to do the same to mid. I, I don't like this 1v1 from Ryan. I don't know why he's trying to take this. This isn't going to work out well for him. Uh, he needs to just leave this, I think. Uh, uh, but but he, he's not going to, is he? Uh, but you know what? That's okay. It's a free country, right? We're here on NA, right? He can do what he wants. He wants to take that one. Indeed, it is. That's fine. And to be honest, this is actually exactly what Speed Demons want. They've got the Renegade AFKing on his windmill node. They've got the actual outnumbered fight now on mid. And if they can find a kill on the Thermite, the Renegade realizing that they're outnumbered as the Thief is going to be in this mid fight, they're going to be able to find the rest of the game, the rest of the map going the re their way. But fortunately, the Renegade is here in time, and they're actually having some trouble in this three versus four. The condition pressure coming out of EQ is actually starting to tick down onto the Speed Demon boys, and they're having a little bit of trouble finishing this fight. Exalted Grenz coming in as well. We do see a really nice decap, though, from Aerox, recognizing that the Renegade had left, and this is exactly how you want to see Speed Demon play this. As soon as that Renegade leaves, as soon as Aerox is able to get in there, they need to go and they get the decap, but unfortunately, Zin, not really realizing what the rest of his team is doing, he's going to be locked out from way from the rest of his team, and he will be taken out here. We do see the points back even as Grenth actually gives to go down on this node. Thermite and Jack here, potentially for the res, but half going for the stop, but he's going to be interrupted. Grenth's still going to be down state, though. Karina trying to get in there, but he's not going to be able to cleave it. He's way too low. The res does come out here from Exalted Quality. Very nice job to get their Necro back up. He's still a little bit pressured, but unfortunately, with the outnumbered fight now, their player and the Condi Revenant before getting killed, and the health bar is just way too low for Speed Demon. Zumarino now being taken out as well. They're not going to be able to continue to contest and fight into this middle node. No, and I think a big part of that, why that cleave couldn't come through, is because Zoomerino was just so low, about 5% health. Necromons are not able to participate in that fight uh, very much at all, so lacking a lot of that poison uptime, some of that cleave. And there was also no Lich on top of that as well. Lich Worm was still in about 10 second cooldowns. So that massive auto attack pointing the finger uh, was not present there to cleave out that downside. Certainly unfortunate uh, for the Speed Demons. Very, very unfortunate indeed. And Exalted Quality, we can kind of already see them taking... Uh, a bit of a lead in this game and getting the same thing done they had on the previous match. And there's the decap actually as well. Like uh, Ryan able to kind of slide his way in there and manage to sneakily uh, de-secure the mansion uh, for his own team there as well. And that's going to certainly give them a pretty juicy lead there. But it's going to take a while to get that. And while the Revenant is out of position there, Zin going to be going for the cap there. That does give uh, Exalted Quality another little opportunity to maybe pick up a kill using that Condition Thief, having that leverage on the map. They should be able to get some work done here. And Zoomerino is looking like the target is able to port away though and should be okay temporarily. But that does leave uh, both of them, uh, you know, Half and Zoomerino a little bit split up. However, they are able to rejoin 
I'm going to have to back off there a little bit. The worm place up again. I think a nice kite uh, set up there by Zoran. She just kind of pulled up immediately. Never mind. Cancel that. Uh, but still, you know, not a horrible spot in this team fight so far uh, for the blue team. They can certainly come back there. But, oh, they're, pff, they're getting played by decaps, man. Uh, that really, really hurts. And the uh, I think the, the fence on the windmill is actually carrying... Um, uh, EQ as well, because what he's doing, he's positioning, if we, you know, if we go have a look at that uh, 1v1, he's actually positioning himself such that when he gets knocked back, he gets knocked back into the fence, and that's that's why it's taking such a long time to actually get that decap here, so... Oh, oh wait, he's oh, getting oh, a knock over the fence there, <laughs> though, Shadowfall. Oh, dear. Teapot's got to stop talking about some things, I think, uh, every now and then. We do see yeah. a decap on mid as well. We do see the map completely neutral here, but unfortunately, it's not going to be enough as Karina again, the Necromancer here for Speed Demon, is going to be taken out. Mansion will be a free cap here, as we see half and Zin looking like they're probably going to rush it out. But again, I, I really don't see why they are giving so much value to this Renegade. I think exactly what they were doing before, where they force him to leave the node, they go in for the decap as soon as he does, and then they go back into the mid fight would have been working perfectly if they just didn't lose players to people being out of position, to people being split up from the rest of the team. And they definitely could be taking some of these fights a little bit better. We've seen a lot of these fights going kind of close. We've seen a lot of the fights even going the way of speed demons when they have the players in the correct positions. But unfortunately, they're just not doing it right now. And Shadowfall being over the windmill, eventually maybe he does get the decap. But if Ryan goes out for a decap at Mansion, it completely negates any value they're getting from it. And it just takes too long for Shadowfall to get that decap at windmill. And on top of that, they're still losing team fights. So they've really got to try and change up the strategy a little bit because it's more or less the exact same way they were playing on Legacy. We saw exactly where that got them. Unfortunately, down 1-0 in this set. Zin going to be a little bit pressured out here now. He's going pretty low in this mid fight. He is trying to put some pressure on a nice pull on a Thermite. We'll isolate him, but Zin, unfortunately, is going to get himself isolated. And now into downstate Thermite, Grenth, Jack looking for the cleave there. They do get a really nice res, though. Speed Demons being able to get him back up. And Windmill does get decapped as well, finally, by Shadowfall. But Speed Demons need to be careful because they might be able to fight for side nodes. But Ryan, now going for a decap over at Mansion, is going to be completely uncontested. And there's no one going in a way to position themselves to plus Shadowfall over the windmill, so it's going to be again a completely free and uncontested decap and unanswered decap by Ryan at the mansion. Yeah, and that's Ryan is getting a lot of work there, and I think a part of this is because they um we aren't seeing uh, Speed Demons really just kind of let the Renegade do its own thing and then have Shadowfall uh, kind of control a part of the map there. Like they haven't really got the full cap. Uh, the, on the node that Shadowfall is on right now, and they also are essentially just giving up uh, one node constantly uh, to Ryan going for those decaps, and they haven't been able to respond to that. Maybe having, uh, maybe they could almost have the one of the Conny revs, maybe kind of take that, take some one v ones there as well, and react to the thief a little bit there. But uh, you know, they do get the, the cleanup here. They are able to kill Jack, and they should be able to get Thermite too. And that's only a big sign of life there. Getting those three really important kills. Necromans are also just off respawn is going to be a big deal, and we should see a two cap coming out. Uh, right now uh, from the speed demons uh, they should be able to eventually knock that renegade off the point there it's very very close i think one more knockback should seal the deal in favor of the blue team and certainly get them back on this game especially with this kill on jack coming through that's uh, that's gonna be another really good stagger there and yeah there you go he actually is now full cap see this is the kind of situation that dark horse uh, speed demons they really want they really want this to happen the entire time because the uh, the druid is gonna be able to hold that quite effectively ryan though does he get a free decap on mid he actually doesn't no korea will Not be able quite. to get there and they've answered it as well with the decap and now full cap on mansion as well aerox finally going to be able to get a little bit of an out rotation on his t on his counterpart there from exalted quality of course that does come into play just because of the they had the map and Shadowfall now getting aggressive on very heavily. We do see Speed Demons finally move in there, but it's very, very late. Shadowfall will be able to escape with his life, and there's not going to be a bit of a fight over at Windmill. And this is actually definitely a much better position here for Speed Demons to be in. But mid does go decap, and we're going to see Ryan now making it an outnumbered fight, or going for the 1v1, excuse me, over at the mansion against Aerox. He's going to be a little bit out pressured here, though. He's going to have to be careful that he doesn't get the decap here in stealth. But he is going to be able to get the decap. Nonetheless, the Thieves Guild is going to force Aerox away. On the other side of the map, it's still going to be this 3 versus 3. But it looks like at the moment, it is going in favor of EQ. Karina going to be very, very pressured. Does have his Shroud available and is going to be able to continue to push away Shadowfall as well after getting the cap over at mid, which is not going to be for long as we see Ryan getting in there right after him. He's going to be able to come and peel, but half and Karina so out pressured here by EQ. And Karina might even go down again, isolated from the rest of his team. And this is exactly what I was talking about before. The positioning from these players is really not great in a lot of these fights. They're very, very split up. They're not allowing themselves to peel for each other. And this is what I was talking about a little bit before when we saw Team USA, when we saw Dark USA. They're just in much better positions in a lot of these fights. They're able to get each other out of these, these positions where they're about to go down. They're able to make sure that they are losing players when they shouldn't be. And we don't really see that coming out here from Speed Demons as EQ move to take mid back. And they'd all... Yeah, I mean... 
Aerox going down there too. And that was a bit of a comeback moment there for the Speed Demons, right? Like, certainly was. But I think they just couldn't, they just didn't maybe hold quite together. And they ended up losing that fight to EQ on their spawn. They eventually just had enough respawns. And uh, Speed Demons just ran out of cooldowns and ended up falling over there. And you see that, once again, Exalted Quality have found themselves once again in control of this game. Ryan in a little bit of trouble there. Like his his like massive obsession with taking these 1v1s on Corian Thief right for his montage are maybe backfiring a little bit. Uh, but you know that might not matter at this point because we have EQ should be able to grab uh, this cap here. Uh, Zin is going to be able to maybe intercept it. Actually, with uh, Shadowfall coming in, they should be able to at least bunker that down for a little bit. And Ryan is going to be outside of the map for a while. So maybe if this Lichform gets a juicy kill onto Thermite uh, or maybe onto Jack, that could be very, very big indeed. But actually, no, it's not looking like it looks like there is a pretty solid fight available on the middle node for Exalted Quality. Thermite getting some good kites off there. Uh, meanwhile, while his team is holding down the node, Aerox actually does get barely caught. Ooh, a thief kill at this stage in the game is going to be quite potent, but that might actually get revived there. Great revive, not quite enough cleave uh, coming out there from Exalted Quality to finish the job. And Dark Horse is certainly catching up in this game now, actually. Like the, 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 it was the comeback into the throw the comeback. Now they're doing another comeback again. Like They really need to make up their mind, I think, in this game. Indeed, they do. Exalted Grant getting peeled out here. He is going to be taken out, though. Aerox, after getting rezzed up there, is going to be able to find a kill on the Necromancer. Thermite very low as well. Jack going in for the res, but that's going to be a bit of a mistake as the rest of his team has already started to leave this. Ryan immediately going for the mansion, and I do like to see this. He's going to be able to get a lot of value out of here, obviously, with this decap, just keeping his team right behind the Speed Demons. But unfortunately for EQ, that's a lost team fight over at mid. They're not going to be able to recover from that, and I really would have liked to see the rest of their team collapse onto Windmill as well as soon as Ryan left. We're going to see Jack, unfortunately, though, overstay is welcome. He will be going down at mid. Thermite continue to troll this. Almost certainly will go down as well if you just try to contest the note as half gets the stomp on the Revenant here. We, as you see Zin coming in for the plus over as well towards Mansion where Aerox and Ryan were 1v1ing. But so far, you know, a couple of missed rotations from both teams, I'd say. Thermite is going to be probably dying on the note here, but I'm not really sure that's valued because they oh, don't, no. they're not really playing to win off of just this one node in this contest here. We do see the plus with Grenth off respawn is going to be able to force Shadowfall off the node. Windmill will yet again go back to the wave red team. Mid finally looking like it's going to be capped up here. But to be honest, the, the fact that Thermite hasn't died yet, the fact that Zin and Aerox are currently trying to 1v2 a, a thief over at their home node has definitely given EQ a chance to get back into this, recover from the couple of kills they lost. Mid will finally be picked back up here. Thermite's still going to be pretty pressured out here. But Jack immediately decaps it. Speed Demons, unfortunately, just not able to contest. They're just giving nodes away left and right. There's more decaps in this game than I think I've seen in the rest of the matches so far before here. Karina's still very low. Thermite finally may be going down onto this node. He's still just barely staying alive as Karina can't completely go onto the node. He's so very, very low, but we should see the condition pressure bringing him down. Zin going in for the cleave as well. Jack going to be going in for the res now as Grenth ports off the node, completely away from this fight. And this is she's gonna really come down to the wire, actually. I, I think Exalted Quality, uh, if they can get the decap, no, they can't get the decap. Aerox able to hold on to that just barely. If Ryan can get that, then uh, his team will be able to win. But I think um, it's going to really come down to who can actually get one more node. Well, it actually needs to be, uh, can Speed Demons prevent Exalted Quality from getting one more node? Because they're currently ahead and they are going to win on the timer in just a minute. Ah, they do get the cap on mid too. And, oh, that's brutal. That's really going to generate a huge lead for them. Uh, maybe, oh, Ryan, actually, does he get the sneakiest decap ever? No, not looking likely. Actually, wait, does he get it? He actually got it. That's pretty good. But now they need to decap mid, but they, they actually lose Grenth at the same time as that. So I think things are actually looking pretty bleak for Exalted Quality here. Jack getting pulled. They actually, I think they want to try and go for the res there, but there's way too much no, pressure. There's no way they're going to get Jack will Ooh. probably die for that. They're going to be pushed away from as well. He needs a little bit more energy for Shield 5, and yeah, he is going to be able to get that. But that mid decap, can it come through somehow? Oh, actually, Ryan. Wait, Ryan actually, he won the 1v1. He got the cap. He got the full cap on Mansion, and now EQ, all they need to do is hold down these side nodes, but they've got to send someone towards their Thief because he's not going to be able to hold it down when Zin goes in for the decap. However, we will maybe see half into a one versus two situation. He's going to have to give it mid, and that's great for EQ. Oh, that's completely that's shut down the points. Honestly, Ryan should just leave Mansion at this point. He shouldn't even bother trying to contest it. He should yeah, just get he back to mid. It. He realizes it, and that means... Oh, but wait, they got decapped! Oh, Windmill oh, got no. decapped as well. There's 40 Shadow seconds. Fall coming into value. There's 40 seconds left. There's seven points the difference in this game right now. Oh. But mid's going to be picked up here for EQ. All they need to do is hold the this mansion. down now and make sure the other it's two one maps tick. don't get picked up. Ryan's got to hold this. He has to hold. Uh, he can't die. If he dies, oh, the cap comes through. 
They're going to win by one point. Oh, my God. They're going to win by more than that, though, if they yeah. finish off Ryan. Oh, the yeah. The extra points there from it will get oh, the kill. If they can find the kill and train over mid. But mid gets decapped as well. And that oh, what a is going to be game as Thermite falls, unfortunately. That will be Speed Demons clutching it out at the last second. Ryan is just falling a little bit too early. They get the kill on Karina too, but it's just not enough. And that will be Speed Demons making us go for the first time today to around number three. Wow. That was a pretty crazy game, actually. We got some quality games here. My goodness, in the lower bracket here between EQ and Dark Horse. I mean, look, look at that graph, guys. Just up and down, crossing over each other so many times. Trying to make a braid out of that timeline, I think, is what we got going on there. Uh, that is absolute insanity. What a crazy game between these two teams. And, well... One way or another, this really is the last one. That is the first game that's going to go to a 2-1 here on the North American region. But I am sure that is not going to be the last. I'm pretty confident of that. Oh, my goodness. All right, Teapot. Let's wrap this up, all right? Let's uh, let's lock it down here. Oh, yeah. This last, this last game. This is it for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. This is Teapot. I hope you've been enjoying it. Exalted quality up with one game and well dark horse or speed demons they have one game as well this is it this is the first best of three full best of three excuse me that we're going to have seen on an eight today it's going to be the last game as well both teams going to be crossing the renegade someone's trying to find them out of stealth but it's not going to work we'll see uh, actually an engage coming out now onto the reaper here from exalted quality a little bit of pressure put onto him early on we do see zoom marino though karina also getting pressured out here by exalted quality jack gonna be on top and thermite now getting a little bit of pressure too and again we see a bit of a split between both teams both teams kind of split on their targets. Exalted Grant's going to be porting around, and we don't see all of the players here on the side of Dark Horse or Speed Demons going in for it. However, Grant out of Shroud now. Karina going to be in the Lich for him, trying to get it. He's going to be a little bit blocked by this bridge. Jack and Thermite now going to be a little bit pressured here. They need to be careful. They don't already go down the Henge. Going to be the first node of the game to be picked up. Mine quickly answered there a couple of seconds after, but Thermite is still going pretty low, and Grenth has already been taken out by Aerox off to the side. No res potential for the Necromancer. We'll see if the peel is going to come out for the rest of the teams. They're going up this jumping puzzle. No one going over to mid, but it does look like Dark Horse are going to be already moving there. Now over towards mid. Zoomerino coming in off to the side. Already still a little bit low. Hasn't been able to completely disengage and get out of combat. And unfortunately for Dark Horse, it doesn't look like they're going to be able to chain any kills off of that first death. I, I, I don't, I really don't like the fight off point for EQ. I think their strength really lies in actually controlling space, right? And there's too much room. I mean, look at this bridge. Okay, look what's happening to the camera there. That's what happened to EQ there, right? Like, you know, they just kind of got just pulled apart in, in open space. I think they're much better off fighting on points here, Roy. I, I don't know. And they do get a kill on Zoomerino, but it's going to get revived up there. And losing that Reaper so early on just really threw a spanner in the works. And yeah, they go Ryan actually eliminated by Aerox too. And I think a very good start um, for the Speed Demons in this game. That kill Absolutely, on Jack. we do see Exalted Jack going into downstate. So is Karina, though, and unfortunately for the rest of his team, they're not aware of this. Not really sure what Zin and Half were doing there, but they completely allowed Karina to get isolated and, and allowed him to be stomped out there. They could have rallied him off of Jack potentially, or maybe at least stopped the stomps, but it's not going to happen. And Jack now will have a completely free decap over at mid. And again, what looked to be a very promising start for Speed Demons has kind of gone awry. Pew definitely going to be pulling it back here. Again, we see Shadowfall need to the Renegade locked into this eternal tussle over at the Henge. We will see Jack probably get this full cap. I don't think half is going to be there in time to stop it. No, the CC is going to be out there, and he is going to be able to get that cap up. Mine is going to be one versus one between Ryan and Aerox. A Unfortunately, Aerox is not going to be able to stay there, and he does now head over towards mid to make this an outnumbered fight, but we've seen it go the way of EQ before, able to hold down these fights. Ryan won't be far behind, and this will be a 44 very soon. Speed Demons need to lock this down before they fall too far behind. Yeah, they absolutely do, and I think you know after a rocky, a rocky start there, I think EQ uh, they played pretty smart there. They just went to the regroup and then said, "Okay, that didn't really work out that well. Let's actually stand on the points now." Uh, however, you know maybe that didn't work out so easy because actually Jack ends up getting caught there, like getting chain CC'd there by Thermite a lot, and lots of damage coming out there. I think the res is going to come through though. I think it should do right there. It is, yeah. Good res. Can they restabilize off that? That's the real question. Uh, looks like they might be able to get away with that, just about okay. Uh, the rest of the map is being held neutral. The Renegade and the Ranger once again in their duel. I mean, they, they must be good friends by now, right? They must be like, oh, how are you guys doing, right? Like, we're just going about our business, taking some 1v1s. Uh, not really happening there. Of course, the Shadowfall will eventually be winning that. Uh, so keep an eye on that. A node icon, it will be slowly getting captured. 
uh, by the Druid over time. Not really a good spot to get knocked back there uh, for the Renegade mm. to mitigate that. And actually, the fight going a little bit out of the Reaper. Shift, yeah. uh, for example, Jack going free low himself. I think this should be a one team fight for speed damage. They're going to be able to get the kill. Now, the decap, if they can chain it onto another kill on Jack, and they do, A Rock's able to chase him down. That'll be really good. And A Rox with an excellent decap at mine while that fight was going on. Ryan unable to stop him. And I actually think it's really interesting that Ryan chased him back over to the middle node. He didn't want to leave A Rox there to outnumber that fight. Unfortunately for him, though, they lost it anyways. And Speed Demon's now looking like they will have a little bit better map control. Shadowfall does get plus by Ryan, but that's honestly okay for him because Dude. they'll be able to just move back onto the node as soon as Ryan leaves. You see the that's exactly what's happening now. And Ryan going for the beast. Double cap. Here we go. <gasps> He's got the Venom as well. He doesn't. He can't Venom share it though. He just has the thief. That's kind of weird to have Thieves Guild without the um, Venom share. Actually, it's kind of unusual uh, to go with that. So he doesn't really generate. Uh, he does but... go the way of EQ, but it's not going to be enough to stop this game from going the way of Speed Demons. However, half unfortunately one in a one v one that he's now losing against Thermite RF already propped up. He's about to give up the decap as Ryan comes in as well. Zoomerino Karina is going to be a potentially able to peel for him, but. That is going to be the decap given up, and certainly not ideal for Speed Demon. Still, they are going to be able to hold it off to one node. Exalted Grenth very low here against Aerox and Zin over the mine. However, Thermite is going to be coming in to peel for him, but maybe a little bit too late. You're going to see, able to see the res Jack coming in as well as Thermite. Aerox not really able to do much to stop that. Zin trying to get there in time, but it's not going to happen, and the res comes out. And Speed Demon's again giving away what should have been a free kill. And then we're going to see Exalted Quality able to lock that down yet again. Now, one thing that is a really concern, and that's why we see the Thief Ryan rotating over towards the Henge, is that the Renegade actually did end up giving up the cap there. Yeah, he got immobilized off the point by the Druid, and that is such an annoyance there um, uh, for Second beast. Exalted Quality. Another beast coming down. But wait, wait. I, I don't, wait, do they get that? It might it? They actually no. get it. Yeah, they get it. So that's two beasts for EQ, and that's kind of keeping them in this game. That's actually like, unironically keeping them in the game. It's not even a meme. Like the the beast control from Exalted Quality is really helping them. This decap is going to be really annoying. But actually, uh, Jack able to leap there just in time should be able to hold it. Him and Thermite will be no problem in that two v two. They're going to have to hold the two v three for a bit and two well about five seconds until uh, the uh, Exalted Grant thrives. And when he's there, I think they should be pretty okay in that 3v3. I think the Thief will be providing minimal value. Meanwhile, the Necromancer is actually locked down over on mid. I think we'll see Ryan rotate into this, actually, and that might result in some kills for Exalted Quality. Yeah, and having the Thief kind of in this team fight without getting kills is obviously a bit of a disadvantage there for Speed Demon, just because, again, Ryan can freely plus this. And we will see Zumarino getting in here before too much damage is done, but Ryan is now going to be free to leave. So we'll have to see if Aerox will answer that. However, half does go down. The Lich coming out from Exalted Wrath as well. And I don't know if we're going to be able to see the res from Speed Demons. No, it doesn't look like it. They're going to be forced to give up this node and leave it. Hopefully they can do so without losing any more players, but it looks like Zumarino is probably going to get caught out. We do see the res symbol actually coming out from half, and Zoomerino's on top of it, but the CC is going to be there to stop him being able to continue to res that, and unfortunately, that will be the kill picked up on the Firebrand. We'll see Aerox and Zin now going to be pretty low as Karina continues to kind of troll over at the far node, but fortunately for him, it's not going to really go anywhere, and we will see the decap probably picked up here on mid. And at the moment, Speed Demon is just kind of getting a little bit out-rotated and also just not able to get anything from these kills. Aerox is going to be taken out in road. Zin is here to try and go for the res, but no, it's not going to happen as the rest of EQ will collapse onto that and make sure it's not going to be able to be picked up. Shadowfall, again, still holding down the hinge, eventually getting closer and closer to capping it. But with the advantage of players now on the map, I would expect to see Ryan going over to plus that to confirm the cap here. Uh, taking a while to get over to mid uh, is Thermite. He, he was uh, had, to, he had to run there on his short, stubby guardian legs because no one else wanted to go for the cap. And I think it's all quality. Um, I'm not, I think they're a little bit indecisive with rotations. Were they going to go help uh, EQ or simply just go to mid? And, and now Ryan pushing into that? I think that's really weird. Uh, yeah. I, I, I guess EQ, I think EQ was playing incredibly greedy there and probably should have just played really defensively and just kited away. But he just went for, you know what? Me go far, me die on point. Uh, which is maybe not exactly optimal. I think Ryan is kind of banking on the fact that the uh, that Shadowfall is going to leave, but I don't think he's going to leave. I think he's going to stay, actually, um, on the I think there. what should happen here from Speed Demons is Shadowfall should stay, and if anyone leaves mine, we should see Aerox go for it, and we do now see Jack leaving it. Shadowfall, actually, no, he's going to push into far, and I do kind of like this. It does allow them to be able to kind of force the pressure over at mine instead of continually being forced into Henge. Which may benefit them in the end, but right now what needs to happen is they need to be able to win this team fight and decap mid as they've now lost about 70 points difference here behind EQ. Mid is beginning to get decap, but oh, so far the team fight's still holding strong here for EQ. We will see Ryan going for the decap over at Henge before Shadowfall is going to be able to do it. Decap comes out at mid finally, but it will be a completely neutral map for Blue Team in a second because Shadowfall, oh no, he does get the decap here at mine. 
I guess that you the neutral map in general, but it is going to be a much slower cap here for Shadowfall than it will be for Ryan. However, because Ryan isn't in this fight, they will have the outnumbered. Grenth will fall. Thermite able to get up on top, but he might fall not long after. And Jack currently holding his own against half, as well as Karina over Ryan the middle. Ryan gets free beast here, though. He actually gets free beast, I think. I think he'll yeah. go for it. Um, no, he's, he's not nope. going to go for nope, it. No. He's going for the team fight. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he knows the thermite's very low. Aroc's pretty low here. Thermite, though, is going to fall before that can happen. Kills starting to be in favor here for Speed Demon as well as the nodes, but now he's they're going to have to do something a little bit quicker. And yeah, he will go for the beast now. <laughs> will Aroc try and steal it, though? I don't think so. Oh, no, he's not going for it. No, he's because he knows the Aeroch is coming, so he doesn't want to risk it into the Power Thief, right? Which is have a good chance of just backstabbing it and stealing it. And, you know, even though that fight does go pretty badly for Exalted Quality, because of the Renegade just slowing down the fight here, Shadowfall wasn't really able to do much there, even with a plus. Uh, and now Jack is actually doing a great job of holding this 1v3. He probably will end up dying. Oh, so close to getting that Glint Heal. Exalted Quality, they are still definitely ahead. Um, in this game by about 80 points. Another kill does come through, immediately resetting Jack, but Jack will be able to actually can go back and immediately respawn and go for the mine. And actually, mine is uncontested. Um, uh, uh, Speed Demons are actually backing off. They're going to allow the free cap from EQ, and that is going to be a nice capture there to have that on lockdown. Now, of course, uh, Thermite and Grent are a little bit out of position here. Like they're maybe a little bit too deep, but they should be able to retreat to that Renegade quite easily and continue to take the fight. The Thieves are dueling on the other side of the map, and there's one node apiece, uh, so it's going to be a Thief duel for the final node. But actually, with the Ranger coming in there, that means the Henge should go in the direction of the Speed Demons. Yeah, and it looks like they decided that sending Shadowfall over to mine is not what they wanted to do. Brian, probably not going to go for the Beast. No, it looks like he'll probably go for the decap at mid instead, and he should be able to get that as Aerox is now coming into the fight over at mine. And it looks like Speed Demons are more interested in going for the fight towards mine, but Karina actually sensing that the Thief might be going. No, oh, wait, he jumps oh, off! Oh, no! Why did he oh, leave? Oh, no! Oh, and he's not going to be able to stop the decap. So that would have been so good for him, especially considering Hen just got picked up, but now he unfortunately gives up the decap, and, and Ryan beast. already making his way over to Hen's Shadowfall leaves. Oh, that hurts so badly. I mean, Ryan, dude, he actually rolled a 20 right there. That is critical success right there. My goodness. He actually thiefed very, very hard during that game, getting those two decaps where he really shouldn't have got either of those realistically. And he'll be able to full cap the henge and then probably, well, you know, now now he's going to go for the beat. Like, he's going to go for it now. But wow, that actually, that's potentially game ending damage right there, I think, from Ryan. That thief gameplay yeah. there, uh, no, getting he's... that decap on mid, that's horrific uh, for for speed demons there. That's These decaps have been incredible so far from Ryan. He's honestly, he's, he's just out rotating the rest of the team right now. I think the other problem too is, again, they're just committing too many resources into fights that they're not winning quickly enough. We do see the kills definitely heavily in favor of speed demons, but again, they just don't get anything out of it, and they're constantly being decapped by Ryan because they don't have, they're not playing for two nodes right now. They're kind of swapping between three nodes, and it is allowing EQ, and specifically Ryan, to move around the map, get those decaps, and not lose any caps here. And again, we're going to see mine almost pick up half just barely able to hold on to that thermite a little bit low in this fight if they can find some kills and maybe clean this fight up they could take it back but again mid gets decapped at the same time as henge and eq with almost a hundred point lead as mine gets picked up for them ryan might even be able to pick up the middle note as well and that'll yeah, be the double for cap it. for eq oh yeah he's gonna get that as well and he won't have it for very long but it's gonna again it's gonna waste time for shadowfall i think ryan can just run directly to the henge and just start capping that he's gonna take this 1v1 he wants to kind of preserve some of that point gain i think actually gets a massive burst on the Shadowfall. He won't really be able to 1v1 the Druid very effectively. Like, how is this team fight going? We need to have a look at that, I think. Because um, it is pretty... Aerox is going to be pretty low as well. There's a lot mm. of low health bars over the place. Knockback here from the Glint is going to be enough to take down Aerox. Zin going to be very low. Half going to be very low. Karina going to be very low. And I don't think they can contest this. Respawn's coming out as well as Grenth comes back in. And this is not looking like a very good fight for Speed Demons. On top of that, they're continuing to just have this deficit open up bigger and bigger. And Grenth now coming in. This is going to be an outnumbered fight here for EQ. Or rather, for Speed Demons into EQ, Exalted Jack going to be a little bit low, but the rest of the players is not able to contest this. And I think, unfortunately, Speed Demons have thrown this game away. Yeah, it's only two minutes left, and after losing that team, I think it's very difficult to recover. Uh, Aerox coming in to try and do something here, try and go for the plus. I, I, I really don't like that 1v1 that Ryan was engaged in there. Like, he was just 1 v one the Druid for ages, and he, he he lost the 1v1, obviously, right? And now we do see the Beast, Ryan redeeming himself, going oh, for that smoke screen. Is out. Yeah, Aerox actually might steal that, and that is that relevant? I think that actually is relevant, assuming that the decap can come through. Wait, they're going for both Beasts. They just want to try and end the game. 
um, just off yeah. those beasts, because that essentially does it. It's a risky play, and they get the first one. They actually are able to grab Svan in there, but are they going to be able to get the second one on the Chieftain? It, it, it will just insta-win them the game, so uh, Ryan is almost certainly going to go for that in just a few moments here. This is it. Can they make it? They want to go further. They want to advance on this bracket to face the winner uh, of the other losers bracket match. Wait, what, what is Ryan doing here? I, I mean, what, what are we watching? I mean, we <laughs> Uh, looks well. He's you know he's gonna go for the beast Wait, and Shadowfall like dying for as well. Yeah. No, he, he's got it here. Unless Avarice can steal it. No, that's game. One off the beast and EQ will be advancing on after knocking Dark Horse or Speed Demons out, unfortunately. But definitely will play. That's our first full set of best of threes there, and uh, that is actually it for today as well. Yes, but, it uh, absolutely is. Uh, a very nice back and forth match. Really nice rotations though from EQ there, specifically Ryan at the end and to uh to take the game and the set